Hello there, folks. Welcome to Pixelology's run, I guess for lack of a better word, of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. My name's Professor Devin. I've got Professor Rod with me. Yo. And we've got uh, Nate back here again, and he will actually be playing the game this time. I will be at the helm this time, everyone. He's the one, he actually hasn't played this one, so both me and Devin have played it, that's why we're letting Nate run this one. Now, some backstory. Every single person in this room is a massive Metal Gear Solid fan. Oh, I think definitely. we've all played all of each them? of the games, <laughs> except for maybe one person who hasn't played Peace Walker. Um, I think we all are out of the loop of one game, one yeah. Metal Gear game at least. But That's it. We, we have all played this quite a bit. Um, we love this series, we all love this series. But it's important to note that Metal Gear Solid Five is unlike any other game that's come before it in the series. They've changed so much, the engine, the feel, the style, and now they might even be changing who's creating the video that and might be leaving. Um, so we figured it was as good as time as any to uh, kind of look at the series, look at its newest entry that's available to play, and really look at how it's evolved. Yeah. Um, so I guess let's let's start with you, Rod. How much of Metal Gear have you played? How long ago did you start playing it, and kind of what's your feelings on it? <laughs> Ten years ago I played it. I, I don't know when it was released, but my basic um, not, no, 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 it's this game that I'm thinking about, oh, the original, game. not Metal Gear Solid, not, not, not Ground Zero, it's just the game I'm thinking, Metal Gear Solid 3, I don't know when that was released, but that was my first Metal Gear game, I started with 3, and I've had that game, I loved it, I loved, I played the heck out of that game. I think Metal Gear Solid 3 was 2004, 2005, yeah, someone yeah, will correct me, I'm sure I'm wrong, but yeah. And so after I played uh, MGS3, I basically just went on a searching spree and f to try to find, like, is, this is the third installment, I gotta play at least the one and two. So I found those, played through those, and ever since then, that's been a huge fan. Like, I went through MGS4, I got the big boss medal on that, like, as soon as I could. I that was a thrill ride, to say at least, especially during the more. motorcycle chase scene. That was fun. That was fun to yeah. constantly reset my console because I would instantly die, <laughs> no matter what, unless I got these shots perfect. Um, Nate, you? Uh, I actually started with Metal Gear Solid itself. I got it. Uh, I originally just got a PlayStation. I got it for Christmas. I never played. That was, that was actually my first like, game that I ever played. It was at first. I was a little mad. Go fun around, kill people. Real but after now, playing so it and really getting into the story, and the characters, uh, I fell in love with it. The reason I bought a PS2 was for Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, like seeing screenshots of it, like from going from PlayStation, to PlayStation 2, like to the PlayStation. If you go back and look, like his face doesn't have any facial features. It's just like a texture. It's a raw texture. So you get home. Mouth didn't move. All of a sudden, PlayStation 2 is like. His hair moves and his ear looks like an actual ear. His mouth <laughs> moves and he talks. And it completely blew my mind. Who could ever forget that armpit hair? <laughs> yeah, the armpit hair in Olga. Yeah, and uh, my friend had Zone of the Enders, which had the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo. It was all in Japanese, but I played through that demo so many times, right? Because there's all this new stuff you do, could do. You had a first person view mode. You could shoot like, the bottles and stuff, and they would actually break. That, that was something new in gaming that you hadn't seen before. This will really give you a lot of important information. I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I started with the series probably with Metal Gear Solid 2, but my love for it really came from Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, went back and played Metal Gear 1, obviously, and I've been looking forward to playing this one for quite a bit. Um, I just recently got, actually got to play it, and I absolutely loved it. And then, I mean, just the world, the characters, everything about this series draws you in. The political, like, espionage, the stylings of it. Um, it's at one end campy and kind of weird and quirky, and at the other end it's a very serious political drama showing the way the world works, um, or was shaped through a series of military conflicts that have started in the late 60s. No, no, no. No, Technically, the 40s with uh, the original with the boss. She's being held yeah. for interrogation at a camp and it's just amazing how much detail and how much is built nice. in this world. Um, nice for the Okojima truly soil. built one of the most and interesting worlds in Germany. And he didn't even have to the make a new planet or any crazy things. He just took our world and kind of worked it. I absolutely love it. 
My guess Maybe it's just took like all the conspiracy the kind of undertones and just went full blown on it. Nation. It's a very conspiracy heavy what game. Yeah. Sure. And we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. I love the song, I like playing this through the first time. Involved, but, um, but Metal Gear Solid 5, I digress. Metal Gear Solid 5, is, Solid 5 is so far, based off of Ground Zero, just right. much, much Passes different than anything before in the series. If she's still alive, um, and I'm sure we'll be talking about that side. here in a, just a couple minutes, but it is... Like, I love this game. It's really good thing. It's just really amazing how good this game is. I wanted to say that since the beginning. Like, we've been playing The Order of Two Weeks, and I think that game looks beautiful. But I hadn't played this in a couple months, and I forgot. This this game here kicks the sh crap um, <laughs> out of pretty much every game visually. Um, out for the Xbox One and PS4 right now, except for the possible... Maybe like Alien Isolation. I think this game looks better than most things. Frozen horse is in. No, I wonder if this is actually pre-rendered because I don't think it is. I think this is an engine. I, I believe it's all an engine. And here we get to introduce to our new villain who we know literally nothing about, even by the end. Of the 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 ghost. Move, please. All we know is he's a real bastard. <laughs> Now, one of the biggest things, and we might as well get it out of the way right here at the beginning. Um, my companions feel that David Hayter should have been continued on for this game. I disagree. Yes. Let's hear why, guys. No. Yeah, no, let's hear it. No. Seriously. <laughs> I want I want to hear your justification because I really love David Hayter. I think he's an amazing voice actor. Um, and I think he brings solid snake to life, definitely. But I think Big Boss is a much different character, and I'll be honest, I just don't think David Hayter can pull it off. He doesn't sound, he's never sounded really tortured. And if you played Peace Walker, which I'm sure you watch it, some So who's the other now, target? Um, that would be he, I mean, he sounds like he's really just there, sitting on a possible. toilet and grunting. The radio contact was like, he does not ago. sound Find them both. like Bring Solid them Snake. He doesn't sound like Big Enter Boss. He just sounds like a guy off. doing a bad Secure life. Chico and Colonel, and report I back don't even know what you're talking about. Like, he just... It doesn't work. But it's he is the voice of Snake. When you had an established voice actor who basically voiced both Naked Snake, Solid Snake, and uh, Solidus Snake, so what, Solidus, I believe he was Solidus Snake. I don't think he was. Like, I, I can't. I don't know. I can't. Um, but, uh, it's been so long since I've played Metal Gear Solid. Um, a long, long, long time. F-O-F. But seriously, I... I don't know, when you have an established voice actor like that, I think you should keep him. You should, you should have kept him because he is the we'll recognizable a recognizable voice actor. This scene right corner. here coming up is when I knew, that, it, I knew time for lunch. that I'd fallen in love You'll with probably the way just he with yes. I thought it was freaking awesome. The only awesome. catch is um, you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature yeah, of the care. mission meets backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. I like some alone time? <laughs> That is true. Like he basically. I'd like to point out that they definitely improved the uh, ass crawling physics from Metal Gear Solid 4. If you ever want to look at men's butts in a video game, you should definitely play Metal Gear Solid 4 and 5. You will have everything you ever need. I remember the slow worm Because he did sick. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. So, throughout this game, throughout this game, you're gonna hear his voice a lot. I genuinely think that as he progressed, like Solid Snake sounds like Solid Snake, that's okay. but as Big Boss progressed, in Metal Gear Solid 4, he suddenly sounded different. He was voiced by a different man. That made sense because he was older. Yeah, Here, right. he's in that in-between phase. So I don't think there's a big problem there. I, I really do think Kiefer Sutherland nails this pretty well. He sounds like a more world-weary guy than David Ader ever has. 
Uh, that's my argument. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, that's stupid. You're stupid. How do you like being stupid? But it's the truth. Like, I think he just... Well, yeah. I think it sounds better. Yeah, it is the downfall of Snake. This is the downfall of Big Boss, actually. Are we still in the 60s? Yeah, 1975. The crouch rock. You're you're gonna look, notice a lot of technological. Yeah, did you see the holographic yeah. <laughs> like feeding yeah. like, yeah. 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 like the call button to get more intel? Now they replaced the radio codec conversations to a great extent with these active if conversations weapon, where if you look through your binoculars you and hard it and walk into it, right. you'll be able to hear that, a conversation. Button, a lot of people don't like that. They felt that that was really kind of against the spirit of Metal Gear Solid. Um, I think it's awesome. I think yeah, being able to actively L3 get... L3 yeah. Um, you can check the controls on the just click, click L3. Click L3. Yeah. 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 They click it. Or then oh, I, gotta, I gotta run and then... And yeah, you like... That's what you need to do on the ground, yeah. like, right now. Or run back. Yeah. If you do, um, I believe... Okay, now click L3. I believe while you're running, you press X. That's when you roll. Oh, yeah. Roll to the ground. That's when you, like, dive. Roll or dive? Yeah, it's like a dive. Okay. So it's like test it here. Box maybe? Box. Oh, there yeah, you go. Box? <laughs> box? <laughs> no, we can't be going to the box. Oh, by the way, there was a... Oh, it's not around anymore. I was going to say there was an award at the beginning for flipping and shooting all the racks. But anyway, back to the uh, conversations. Can you flip on your uh, back? Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. That was the L3, I think. If you aim your gun, you can roll over. Yeah, try aiming your gun. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. go. Oh, uh, let's not yeah, have you your flashlight. Yeah, <laughs> <my mind. laughs> the guard in the tower is like, what was that? <laughs> is that my <laughs> reflection? <laughs> um, I like, I like the, the things that they updated for this game. The codec conversations or the interactions seem more natural. You get information more readily, and I feel that all in all, it streamlines the experience in terms of moving between sections. Because really, when you're not directly in the sight of guards, that's when this game uh, is kind of no, you're this is not going to end well for you. No, no, you got past, but that's that spot you gotta move. You got to move. You got you don't oh, have a choice. Oh. Now. You best run quick. That guard guy. Okay. That guard's deaf. <laughs> so another, another thing I really love about this game. Um, oh! oh. <laughs> that, guard, that guard is really just not paying attention. Hold him up. Hold him up. Get right behind him. Oh. This is night vision, though. This is not oh, night vision. This is thermal. Sorry. This is like some D-pad or D-pad left, I think. Now you uh, can you can either shoot him obviously, or if you pull down your gun, you can CQC. Okay. Oh, there you go. L1 or L1. There you go. Can I hold him up here? Okay. Yeah. If you press right trigger, repeat it, or R2, you L1, will knock him down. Oh, spit it out. You can call people. I love the fact that you can call people to your location to kind of lure traps or create setups. Um, if I keep holding down R2, they will choke. Yep. You have to keep pressing. You R2, have to press yeah. R2 rapidly, right. okay. yeah. And then triangle kill, and then the. Uh, have no, no. You will have stuff if you on. get to pick him up and drop him though. Yeah, it's the old school style. Uh, uh, he doesn't have little uh, circular. I think he does. That. No, yeah, they took they took some of that stuff out. Um, you can still shoot them in the exclamation marks though, and not the not. Um, he will get up though eventually again. He's, he's only knocked out now, right? Yep, yeah, only knocked out. Um, one thing I do love about this game and really really cool it, it has me really excited for metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain uh nate i don't mean this in a bad way but you oh! literally <laughs> you literally missed you literally missed like three or four ways to approach that guard that's yeah. what makes it so cool there's a mountain path there's coming straight directly at him there's going around the edge there's a way you could have avoided every guard in this area um, it, it brings a whole new level or an idea to the stealth that you haven't seen before I replayed this mission probably 10 or 15 times, finding out all the ways that I could leave this entrance area. I mean, there are ways that you can get all the way over to the cliff that's on the far side without being caught. And I now think that, that is the old prison area. 
I love the original Metal Gear Solid. I think they're cool games. But if there's one thing that I always felt that they were kind of limited on, you never felt like you could plan out your own path. That's true. You had to. You went through in a specific way. You could kind of plan out. For me, at least. Obviously, some people probably felt different. But I always felt like there. It was more of a puzzle of figuring out which way I needed to go rather than which way I wanted to go. Um, And this game just—it feels like you're allowed to do anything you want. Uh, you can Literally. hijack a vehicle. Yeah, you can you cannot a hijack a vehicle. You can sneak up on these guys. You can blow up all those barrels. You can do this you want. And it really Take sells the feeling of being in an open, explorable, and dynamic world. I love it. I was watching Nate just slowly sneak. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that... that that's important. But remember, yeah, you have binoculars. You have a, a tool can that I will like, mark. You um, can mark people. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can yeah, yeah, if you hold the binoculars on them for long enough, you'll mark, mark him. It, it, now, the more you zoom in, yeah, the quicker it happens. Okay, that's cool. So I, like, mark, I like that. That's, a, that's kind of a new concept in the game. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of Far Cry was the first game to do it, but that's the one I remember the most. That a lot of people felt that this really bastardized the stealth mm-hmm. in the series and made it too easy. I don't necessarily think so. You can turn all this stuff off if you want. But to me, it's more of a... Because you're working in such an open environment now, you have to be able to look at the map, not only from a third-person view, but almost from like a third-person top-down. You have to be able to... I know that sounds kind of weird, but like imagine them at the same time. You have to be able to spin your camera around and see where all your threats are in isolated areas. And I think that that just makes... This a really really interesting game. I don't know if you guys can tell yet because I've been gushing about this for the last like, ten minutes. <laughs> but I really love MGS5 Ground Zero. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to five. This is one of my favorite Metal Gears ever. I, I genuinely think like the way they've done this is uh, insane. Yeah, and I gotta I gotta point out. I think the technology and you know, like uh, the way you can mark people. I think this is all. It all makes sense because, of course, you're playing as a basically big boss now. He's not Snake anymore. He's a big boss. He's older, you know. He needs technology to help him in areas that he can't go in anymore. Why did you go to the one door on that building you can't go into? (laughs) (laughs) It's an open world and you can go into any door. Uh No, you're done. You're done. But I mean, like, technology is not really... What does enemy around the area mean? There's, um, it's a beca- level area. Because of the way this works, if you pull out your eye droid and look at the map, you can actually see various areas of it, like the actual boundary. Enemies move in and out of it um, on relatively set patterns. I wouldn't say dynamic. They do move out in and out of it on set patterns. But you can leave the area in different ways. You don't always have to call in a helicopter evac. You can drive out if you want. It's entirely possible. It, it, they did a lot of cool stuff here. That's in the full game, not in this one. <laughs> no, you can, in the side missions on this one, you can drive out of the area, you can sneak out, you can call the helicopter in. Really? Yeah, you can do it a couple different ways. It's 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 pretty cool. And you're running across an open road. I am, but it's, it's night out, and I don't think there's any guys around here. Like, there's a guy up, up there, but you can't see anything. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that it was kind of like a stealth meter, because all the games had some sort of stealth meter, and, and the fact that it went back to the sneaking suit instead of any camouflage that was introduced to the Now, story. in, in this level he's in, I know for sure there's a sniper rifle, but I believe there's a shotgun. Even if there's a wall between you and them. But no, he won't. Uh, no, he won't. And you can actually try and shoot him from attention. here, but uh, ballistics or bullets do have certain bullets do have drop. Try it. Especially the, the trank. The trank has freaking awful drop. But it's a, it is, it's realistic. That it's you're shooting a tranquilizer yeah. dart. Okay. Hey, go uh, interrogate him. Learn all his secrets. I'm, I'm afraid to grab him because there's another guard over here. Let's see, he's going to come this way and see me. Uh oh. You too late. <laughs> he didn't know, he, he noticed you, but he didn't know He didn't know what he saw. Huh? Who? Oh. Over there. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Can you, uh, smack on the wall like you yeah, you can. You can in this. I thought you could. I, thought you could I never figured out how to knock on the wall. Go I'll be honest. Like I've, triangle. Not, I've not knocked on this. Square. Like, what? I may have to change the buttons for this. Oops. There you go. Okay. Uh oh, you may. <laughs> wow, that guy has hearing. See, he has this. This is a whole other. This is a whole other. 
different style of game. This is why I love this so oh. much. Because in this game, it's not just like, oh, you're in a thin corridor and you have to trick them around a box. Right now, you've got two enemies approaching you from different angles, and you have to try and simultaneously figure uh -oh. out how to deal with each of them. Hope oh. this guy oh, doesn't oh, see you, which he, he just had. He noticed you. He and didn't now see you gotta you. go. Move, move out of there. Move out of there. He didn't see you. He's, he saw something. But he didn't know. Oh god. Seriously, this game is beyond freaking cool. Oh, oh he's oh, coming oh, to oh, investigate. Wait. Right, that guy. Do I have cigarettes? Yeah, I believe you do. Shouldn't? I never tried. No, you only have a couple seconds. Oh god, oh, too, too long. Too long. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, you got it. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I thought for sure. You did. How did oh, the I other guy? No, no, no. Another thing I love about this uh -oh. game. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, you don't want to. Uh -oh. <laughs> another, <laughs> another, another thing I love about this game. You Keep have to move quicker. Him. No, up, you didn't man. knock him out. Keep just pressing. Knock him out. Right you now. don't have enough time, dude. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Another thing. <laughs> another thing I absolutely love about Metal Gear Solid Five that's unlike all the others. Can I go to this door? No, you can't. You move the uh, can't uh, out of sight. Yes, you can. There are at least two uh -oh. buildings. No, you need Throw to drop him now. <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot you can shoot. I forgot you can shoot. Okay, you oh have to just God. hope. Yeah, do it. Uh -oh. Move, 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 go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Drop the first body. You only have a couple seconds till that other dude turns around. You better move. Drop the fucking body, bitch. <laughs> He's oh. coming back. Come on. Come on. Run, 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 Boom. All right, I think I think okay. those dashes are marking how knocked out they are. Look back. Yeah, the, the three. Yeah, yeah he's that, only lightly knocked out. The other one's only slightly knocked out. Um, well, I'm I'm only. Go. Yeah, you can. There, there you go. Um. <laughs> so just... in this game, in this game, one of the things that I love that they added, enemies don't instantly go into hostile phase. They do have to pick up their radio. Um, oh, nice! So if they, one spot that's why he ground. yelled hostile, or he said hostile, but because you seek, you see them so quickly, he didn't have time to call anyone. I mean, it, it, there are so many things they added to this game that are, are just insane. The level of detail they did was oh, really yeah, you can throw magazines. Yep, you can throw magazines. Although I think you already had magazines equipped, so I don't. Yeah, I know. Had infinite mag. Switch infinite mag for infinite mag. <laughs> Or add them together. So, okay, okay, here, 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 you hold down the button and give you different options. Yep. Uh, so so turn on, the on light off. off. Oh, this is, do the suppressors degrade? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, oh yeah, so they do. suppressors degrade. Okay. But the sound of pistol gets built in pistol. pistol. Like a built in one, but you know, this almost feels like the easy gun. So it's really interesting, there's like, there's no objective markers in this one, you just have to go east of the prison. That's yeah, the goal. Okay. Well, that area. The yellow has, area. It has a couple of landing zones and there's this yellow area over here, so I'm assuming that's kind of where I'm heading. Yeah. yeah. I do like that it auto saves when to call made lane to save. <laughs> so yeah, there's a sniper rifle hidden around here, I'm pretty sure there's a Obviously, shotgun yeah, hidden around know. here. Um, what, what if you found a stop mod underneath? <laughs> 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 I think it's a magazine. Kill the rat. Kill the rat. The only thing I never liked the rat. these things was you always, you never had your radar when you were in engine mode like that. I suppose you could turn it on. But I always had it turned off. When were in the... I believe you could shoot lights out. Yes, I'm assuming right. you can because you could never fall too long to uh, okay. You can't do uh, it. Yeah, are only like good for putting you to sleep. to sleep. They won't help you break anything. <laughs> Miller's just like, really? Really sleep? <laughs> just shoot a dart at a um, light bulb? <laughs> I don't know if you know sleep. I'm pretty sure if you shoot a dart at a light bulb, it's it does it. Well, in the real world. Maybe. Yeah, not in the... Not in the... The nano machine, the, the dark didn't get it. I think I saw one above you on the tower. No, this is the death tower. I've never figured out a good way to get up this tower and not get spotted. This match? Oh, those he are doesn't have rounds. the right type of, type of gun, yeah. These are, these are in the armor so if here, you right? distract them with a magazine, that might work. There's no one up the tower. Oh, there's a yep, gate there. There's two guys up there, actually. I think. I think that auto save. 
I actually went this same way to get to the prison camp on the far left side. You can get there so quick if you know how, where to go. But uh, yeah, I, I, I spent the rock so path, yeah. really like the first time I played, I was like, there has to be to that one there. path that find if you if you can find it, it's just an easy straight way. And, and like this building, that. okay, so this big prison wall you're looking at that looks like something out of Jurassic Park. There's at least I figured out at least three ways in here. Really? Yeah. There's got to be at least three ways. I know I'm willing to bet there's more, um, but I know there's three for sure. Uh, yeah, there should be a couple of guys farther to your right. Behind the wall, you can't see. Yeah. I don't see, think this brings, this brings a whole new level of Metal Gear. That's the other thing I love about it. Like, in the traditional games where it's top-down and you can kind of see, that's nothing like this. Like, you have a, a whole new set of problems that you've got to deal with that you've never seen in Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, you can take that tank. You can drive that. And you just murder everyone. Oh, that's not very, uh... <laughs> no, not really, but I, I think but it's... your big boss. Yeah. It's your fault. You ain't a stealth spy anymore. Oh, <laughs> sneak underneath this... Dude, look at that. Oh you my god. <laughs> Boom. No, they can't. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, because no is one's there, looking. Is there a way to, like, go completely down like you could in four? I don't know I don't know think you way. can. Well, maybe if you don't have your gun out. I don't yeah, by the way, those are the two guys who were spotting you on the Oh my god. Door. Don't worry. If they just turn around. One of them turns or will turn around here in a second. If you you're just not move. You just move. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This guy has no peripheral vision at all. <laughs> so unlike the Order 1886 enemies. This guy ain't no uh, quick shooter. Quick draw McGraw. <laughs> <laughs> enemy. <laughs> like before he even finishes the word enemy. Enemy. <laughs> Dead. Dead already. Go, 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 soldier. I don't want to go because that's still great if I run out of that. I think, no, you're, I think when, as long as you're stealth running, you're quiet enough, aren't you? Mm. I don't know. I haven't figured that out. I've never done it this way. Right. Another thing I this love about this game, I've really truly never sketchy. seen it done this way. Yeah, I've like, seen people go through the prison. I've go th seen people go through other places. Uh -oh. I've never okay. seen someone run across this entire area. I know. That is insane. I would never, I would never go this way. Just, I would know that. I would just like, no. It's, yeah, like, it's, it's just not, oh! Did I just see a guy crouch walking for a good a guy. They're five gonna, They're going to come this way, I have a feeling. Yep. It's a road. America. I wonder if that flag, or, I don't know, it would have 50 stars on it. It, has to, 50, it would have 50 Alaska. Stars yeah, of course it would be. Bars. I, when did Alaska, I don't even know, when did Alaska become a state? Like the 50s, I believe, like right after World War II. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think by 75. America. <laughs> Just so you know, I didn't study geography very School. At least American. Well, that's where we're trying to get. That's where we're going to end this particular episode of uh, the Metal Gear Solid 5 run. We'll be back here just in a little bit and we'll be checking out trying to save Chico. It was a pleasure, guys. Hope to see you back here on Pixelology 101 again soon.